looking at your chart, you want to know what the hell it is you're supposed to be doing out in the world because you have very serious responsibilities and your work puts you out in the world. So with something like COVID, this demonstrates in your chart is all of a sudden this year you're stuck because where you had planned on going is not where the world has taken you. That's as far as a career. I don't think that's why you're here, though. It looks to me like the biggest thing that's going on in your life is an intimate or personal relationship. So your partnerships and your, your love relationships are a hugely important key in your life. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, and my girlfriend is losing her mind over there. Why? Yeah, that's true, though. Pardon? <laughs> she's losing her mind over there? <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's just... Okay. Yeah, she can hear you guys. And Okay, hi, Vischer's girlfriend. <laughs> so, <laughs> you sh she should know that you run, like, so hot she doesn't know what to do with you or so cold she doesn't know if you're human does that make sense to her <laughs> yeah that's pretty much spot on did she call you data ever did she just like look at you and pull star trek next generation out of her butt and go you're data aren't you <laughs> i have a feeling she's gonna know <laughs> oh, i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> She'll be calling Damn next week for a man. reading. <laughs> anyway. Let's let's get into this. So did you notice this about your chart? Like when you first got involved in astrology and the TMPs, did you notice that, that these are standout issues in your chart? Um, I did notice the whole running hot and cold thing, but um, in, in hindsight, I guess the career thing would have been accurate too I just didn't really see it coming you know well the career thing actually happened to put you where you're supposed to be so let me show you a couple of things that are stand out in your chart all right that anybody should be able to tell you without issue so these are very stand out in your chart right here so you didn't really think about it. It wasn't where you were going. It wasn't what you were planning. Not initially the goal would be to one day be self-employed, but you were getting your ducks in a row to get there. And then the carpet got pulled out from underneath you. Does that make sense to you? Me, that's exactly what happened, yeah. Okay. So these things that I marked off that I call standouts in your chart, they stand out because they all line up to, they're obvious to the naked eye that they line up to the Aries point. And anything that lines up to the Aries point in Uranian astrology is telling you who you are to the world, how you come out in the world, and what your place in the world is. And in all honesty, if everybody would look at their Aries point, there would be a lot less ego tripping because they'd be like, look, man, it's just not your time to be out there. This was your time to be out there. I don't know what you were doing on your way to the theater, as it were. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. but you're you're not being true to yourself this this is this is where you kind of went south and you're young so you need to kind of accept that part of this is just being young that's the time of your life where you're supposed to get to know who you are and what you like and what you want when you're really young, your parents are supposed to be introducing you to all kinds of different things. So you maybe find an affinity for something or some interest. But you're now at an age where you're just now getting to know who you are as a person. And you really thought you had this on lockdown. 
it looks to me like you wanted a career in media. Uh, yeah, sorta. I was working, or I was working towards uh, starting a travel blog. So yeah. Okay, a career in media. Your problem is right now, and I don't think you realize this. You just need to. This is what Uranian astrology is kind of saying: is shift your image of how that actually looks and if you shift your image of how that looks you got a winner the problem is you thought you could do this by yourself and based on this and this and this and this your life in the world is not a solo trip Everything about you requires partnership, deep, true, profound love, a serious look at science. I don't know where you were traveling, planning on traveling, but you would do really, really well with traveling to historical or scientific sites. That's what I was going to do. Uranian astrology is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, that's impressive. Mm-hmm. You too can do Uranian astrology for thirty nine ninety five. We will pray for you. No. <laughs> Did you see the Joel Olsten thing? Like if you pay him twenty five bucks a month, then you can, it'll be in your prayer circle. <laughs> I have seen those. It's something else, eh? So, anyway. Now the next thing is, I need you to pay attention to the screen because I'm about to teach you some Uranian astrology and where you got lost with your TMPs here. You're going to want to come back here. I'm, I'm sure you realize that right now, right? Yes. You're going to want to spend time visiting us. We are a fun group. <laughs> all right. So, I'm up for it. All right. So this is where you went south, honey, right here. And let me let me circle that up for you so you can see it. You didn't know it was going to work out that way because I guess nobody bothered to explain your chart to you. If they had, you'd understand this. This right here. And, and it's really the thing that's in the middle. It's just this whole middle line here, which is this up here. So this is how we read this. You have to shift your perception of what self-employment is. This is your self-employment. The Zeus, Kronos, Saturn to the Aries point is self-employment. That's solid self-employment. So I have to believe that whatever it is you were doing and trying to work for, your goal was always, I want to be self-employed. I don't want anybody telling me what to do. I know what it is I want to do, and I have to be able to look at this. Here's your meridian. You have to be able to be self-employed, okay, out in the world, meridian, mercury, communicating. You're going to need to bring your girlfriend with you. Hear that? There is a ton <laughs> of travel blogs. There isn't a ton of couples travel blogs. That's true. So what you have to do is create a niche. Why would I say that you have to create a niche? Because wherever Zeus is, Zeus is the linchpin or the firing pin for an idea. So when I look at your chart, let's clear this up a little bit so I don't get you lost or confused. When I look at your chart, I know, sorry about the little circle there, I know that your work Okay, is right there. This is telling the story of your work. And I had already seen this from the very beginning because I spent so many years doing this stuff. Let me see if I can draw this out for you. Here's your midpoint to your Meridian Mars, which is, you know, your mission and what you're supposed to do. And it lines up right here to Capito. So this all this does is further cement that your financial success your career success is going to be predicated upon understanding that it's not 
the self-employment the way you thought it was, that it's actually self-employment in a partnership. Now, does that make sense to you? Uh, yeah, I'm starting to get it. Okay.